Hey everyone, welcome back, I'm Louis. So we are now approaching the end of the Winterfest for mobile platform, so the Wintry Wonders event. It's going to be over in about 21 hours tomorrow. And we have some nice rewards to collect with all the effort that we we did this season, <laughs> I suppose. We have the Amir's shop and Satori's shop. Each of them have mostly um, magical related items that you can purchase. Um, there's also a few other things like the 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 chests and uh, of course Amira the character and you have s separate coins one for Amira's and one for Satori's okay uh, overall this has been uh, quite easy to collect um, the rewards so there's these repeating quests these ones here for the energy for the Titanite and then there's um, the Outland and also the the tower so all of these ones you can repeat multiple times. Uh, these ones you had uh, a reward every day um, for 14 or 15 days. Crystal Depth, uh, sorry, Emerald Magic, you, sh you just have to spend emeralds, of course. <laughs> not everybody has 200,000 emeralds to spend to get all of the rewards here. Not that it really is, is worth it that, that much at that point. <coughs> And then you have two other last quests here: the the um, the the, um, the ranking upgrades for for Satori and for Amira. And w well, what what I can say right right off the start, there's a point where the diminishing r returns are so small that it's just not a, not there's no point in in advancing in those quests. Uh, for example. For Satori and, and for Amira, that point is about Violet plus 2, Violet plus 3. And then it gets just so expensive, maximum orange. It gets so expensive that y you're better off not trying to get those quests done to get the small rewards you get here. Unless you really need those rewards and there's really no other way. Um, or or you use these, these, these heroes, so um, regardless, you will you will uh, reap the benefits later on right now whatever the the case so in those cases yeah okay um but mind that rewards here are, are really not that big all these uh, bubbles are not that big amount so not that big to 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 make it worth uh, spending all the items to get there okay um just a quick overview over the others so the the tower i just did all the free tower chests every day so i already completed the tower a long time ago so i can do the the instant chest opening one per level for free uh, very quickly i don't know how many times i repeated this probably this is the second time maybe third i, I don't know i would have well we can do a quick calculation there so we have uh, 15 daily chests um times 15 days that's 225 so don't know exactly what happened here <laughs> well we'll never know well we have the outland um this one so this one i think it it might have uh, uh repeated already so in theory so I, i'm doing the the five free and then I do the extra tree at 50 emeralds every day. So I take the advantage to, to also do that and get uh, rewards across the board and also contribute here to the emerald magic uh, quest. So I get th that stuff and I get the skin stones. So uh, 8 times uh, 15, 120. So I'm now on the second repetition. I, w I, would, I would say I'm, I'm now on the second repetition for the tower. Maybe my math is just wrong. 15 tower chests. No, I think it's more. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Um, for the emeralds, I think 4,000 emeralds, 2,000, 4,000, 3,000 is just about what is worth it. I think the previous, before 7,000, the goal was 4,000, and then before 4,000, I think it was 3,000, and then then maybe 2,000 and maybe 1,000. I don't recall anymore, but. 7,000 is already so much um, unless you have a, a big stockpile of emeralds or you purchase some emeralds and you want to really spend them on this event 
I guess between between the numbers I've said, three thousand, four thousand, and maybe seven thousand is is worth it. After that, I really would not recommend. Um, there's just diminishing re uh, returns. You just have to spend so much more to jump to the next, or even from here, from the four thousand to seven thousand. So I I wouldn't bother with that unless you really have a lot of emeralds and you want to spend on on this event. Um, so here, I told you you can do the f the eight per day, the five free plus the three at fifty emeralds each. It's it's affordable. Just as the calculation, three times fifty times fifteen days, that would have been two thousand and two hundred and fifty emeralds. So it's it's okay. Um, the crystal depths, I just pushed as as most as I could every day in the dungeon. Uh, and every now and then, or every two days or so, I w I would do the normal. My, my normal is around uh, 180, 190, uh, night and per day. So uh, w the days I could push uh, a, a bit more, and I can, I guess I can share a bit of that information here. I went to the 300 range, uh, 200 range, depending on my performance that day. So we can see here. This day I missed it. I, I arrived home too late, so then I compensated the next. I did 500 there, and this this is my normal, 196, 192, somewhere around that. And some other days I was able to push uh, way more, double that. Let's get back here into the quests, and just to s uh, summarize this, uh, I'm probably on the second or third repetition this is i would say so let's imagine i was i was doing an average 250 times 15 days that's 3750 so i probably um and possibly the first the first days i wasn't really pushing that much but i probably i'm not finishing the second the second uh, walkthrough of this uh, if not the third and the energy um, I'm sure I repeated this a, a few times, possibly two, three times, and this is the most easier one to just keep keep spending those energy bottles, keep spending those uh, 50 emeralds per chase of 120 energy to times two times two to every day. So if, if you can afford to spend that then then you can reach these big amounts without really buying emeralds or uh, dumping uh, money into the game uh, as long as you have a supply of emeralds or uh, you can get emeralds easily how to get emeralds easily just do the arenas if you can uh, rank minimally high like in the 100s in the top top 100 and uh, higher if you can uh, what I do is I try to I try to reach in one of the arenas uh, 60s, 70s, 80s. It's enough to trigger uh, 150 emeralds re uh, reward, I believe. So we can check that here. And with those, so rank, yeah, exactly. So if you can rank one time a day like this, you can get 150 emeralds for free. And if you do these uh, videos here, which I not going to advertise uh, the content you can also get some 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 tickets and exchange those tickets um, in the theater for the emeralds so depending on you perform you might be able to get uh, I would say 60 emeralds plus those 150 around 200 200 emeralds every day which you can directly go in here in the energy and and not for this these 100 lev uh, emeralds ones but for the 50 ones you can trade those and get that, that extra energy and you can do the outlines like I was doing you just go and do the fights when you are done with the fights you can um, you can also uh, buy three additional here which I already exhausted I remember one of the days I made a terrible mistake but it's one of those mistakes we already gave suggestions to the developers multiple times. I clicked here on the on the open ten and spent eight hundred emeralds like that. Uh, it wasn't terrible because this ends up being useful, but it was not just the thing I was I wanted to do that day. And so, with that, you you will uh, 
for for reference for this event for next events you will have accumulated some emeralds every day and then you can uh, convert those emeralds directly into the things you need for that event with that you can push those those things here that i mentioned the energy and the outlands and get uh, re relatively uh, good and inexpensive rewards out of that and as a result you might have been lucky like me i guess or, or just worked hard for it every day and you might have reached somewhere between 30,000 and 50,000 maybe more if you if you put a bit more effort 60,000 um, of each coin for each shop and now with that said we're going to um, take a peek at what exactly is the most useful and the most useful would be the orange items unless you need uh, a mirror but then then again one one tactic you can do here you can just you can just buy one star a mirror and do not um, three star actually this to start and, and and not buy any more evolutions of her uh, because if you have uh, if you have um, where are those in the coins if you have uh, at least I don't know like uh, 1500 possibly enough uh, of the cross server tournament trophies then you can exchange for for the the evolution books and just bring a mirror to the desired uh, evolution that you really want if you want that <laughs> if you really want that hero okay i'm not really uh, interested so i'm gonna leave it like that and um and so that's that's one thing you can spend and satori i don't really recommend doing that here because you can get satori in the in the mobile shop so in the um, highwayman i think yeah exactly here so that's significantly cheaper and easier to do and you, you just better off spending these coins these events coins in other things and and i was uh, saying earlier the, the chests uh i really don't like playing it's not here it's here I really don't like playing with odds but this is what you can get from that and and so I would go for items, orange items, if you need some purple items, yeah, you can also go for those. And otherwise, if you really need a mirror, you can try to upgrade it a bit here and then and then complete, I would say, the six star and five star with the CSW trophies. So now, the items that you would get here, that's the completely dependent on what uh, heroes you, you use. Um, many of these, so all these items are, or almost all of these items are ma for, for mages, except the Alucard's uh, amulet. There, I will take a peek a, a little bit in a, in, a, in a little bit. But m most of those items are from mages. So, uh, on top of my mind, you have Lamort's map, you have the Staff of Naturalization. So, Lamort's map, Staff of Naturalization, you have the Spheres of Power, you have the Light of Distant Stars. All of these are used by, by Orion, but also by other mages. And um, then you have um, some others there. You have you have these ones, the All-Seeing Eyes. You have the Asclepius Staffs. Uh, I believe I also saw the Enigmas Chronicles. So that's all orange, orange items. And then also the Oracle Sensor and the the um, the key to all doors so uh, most of these things um many of these things are <laughs> going to correct like that are quite hard to get especially these ones here the light of distant stars so that's a really good investment um some heroes that are not exactly mages but they deal also with magic they also use some of these items including astrot you have here the spheres of power the oracle sensor the asclepius stuff this is a more generic item, I would say, not really tied to um, to mages, but it does provide magic defense, and um, and that's about it. And then we have uh, other important mages. We have we have Celeste. She also uses the light of distant stars and the oracle sensor. You have you have Dorian, also uses the, the same the same stuff and the Asclepius stuff there. So there's a lot of potential things you can use there um for many for many years i'm sure i'm sure many others like i don't know i, I won't check but the twins uh, 
Lilith and Zisha, they, they will all probably be using many of these uh, orange mag magic items. Then you also have a few that are not exactly magic. So the other cards Amata was mentioning, you can use that on on our friend Kira here in multiple stages of her of her development. So you can use that uh, on the last stage here for the Unity of Extremes. You can use that on these ones here that are also part of the Unity of Extremes formula, the ruler ruler globus. And here in in the lower uh, lower stages also for for Galahad and other uh, physical damage dealers. Uh, to complete the extensive list, I found that there's something very interesting in this time around. I didn't exactly notice that in previous events, but you will see that many of these items you have uh, both the full item ready for purchase, but also the recipe. Or you can say the other way around, the recipe and then also the full item. So in Satori's you have the, the recipe for Oracle Sensor and then you also have the full Oracle Sensor. So 5,000 and 25,000 is the cost. Uh, you will find here the Asclepius staff and the staff of neutralization. And there's also the staff of neutralization recipe here, 5,000 versus 13,500. 13, and then on the other shop, I believe you have, you have the Asclepius staff recipe exactly here. So you can combine these. And then you also have the Al Seeing Eye and Al Seeing Eye recipe here. The, f the same price as the um, as the uh, sensors, I, I believe, five thousand to twenty-five thousand, and the same for all cars, all cars amulet, recipe and not recipe, and then we have a bunch of components to a, a bunch of other things, um, including um, all these very neat things here. The light of distance charge this is really one of the most item the most sought out items this time I would say. Lamar's map is, is used so much that's probably on the top on the top five, top three maybe. Um, really there's not really uh, trying to reform it. There's I, I believe there's not a single path you can take here. You just have to see for yourself or on your on your, on your heroes which items you will need the most. And there's also purple items that will significantly help your progress. So the panoptic orbs are quite expensive to build, but even more expensive to build, I would say, it's the uh, Book of Fate. This Book of Fate takes, um, I believe, two Book of Prophecies, which in, in order to take uh, other, other sets of items that are just quite complex and hard to come by. And I think the, the panoptic Panop panoptic orb, <laughs> panoptic orb. I think that's the name. Uh, also uses multiple diviner orbs, but I might, might be confusing those. So that's the set of things that I can recommend. Uh, regarding what I will take, and I will do just a quick demonstration. I, I haven't really closed this time around. This time for this event, the my my shopping list, but I know for sure, with absolute sure <laughs> certainty. Now I want to complete uh, Orion plus three, get him to Orion, Orion plus four, um, plus four rank, and and then uh, orange plus four rank actually, <laughs> and then uh, build the the orange plus four rank items. So what I'm needing here, and just as a as a very difficult example, so for the light of distance distance stars, the item, not the recipe, I need the recipe. It's 150 parts. I never actually got one full yet, and and I've I've been playing for I don't know two years. We have the Oracle sensor, and that also requires the the recipe and multiple Lamar's map and multiple ends of guard. These are not so difficult to get, but this one takes a while too. And then we have for for the Oracle sensor. I actually have already one built and one almost built, so I don't think I need to buy any one, any any extra one this time, unless I have plenty of resources around to spend. And I don't know where to spend. <laughs> I think it's not the case. And then and then we have the spheres of power, which take the recipe. I don't have enough yet to build one, but not too far. And again, multiple Amorts maps. So I only have. Uh, one and almost another one, so that's two. So, 
quick fix here. I get uh, the resign for this one is uh, really hard. And then um, and then I can get uh, Lamar's map. And then I can get a uh, sphere of power because they don't sell the recipe here. So that's a path I can do. I can also uh, immediately g get the um, the light of distant stars, uh, the item, not uh, the. Oh no no no! I can't because they don't have it. They don't have it. So they only have the recipe. But uh, that would be, uh, uh, of course, obsc obscenely uh, expensive to get because. The recipe is already ten thousand. <laughs> you can see. So five twenty-five thousand. I would say this is fifty thousand. The item if they had had it here. So I'm gonna get here the 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 recipe, a recipe, whatever you want <laughs> to spell it, to pronounce it. So I have now the the recipe. Now I need Lamar's map, and I need as we talked before a sphere of power. So, you can build a shopping list like I did here uh, in the background. I'm not really able to show right now. I have it in a, in a, in a file. Uh, or you can just try to guess a little bit what you need the most and just buy as you go. I would recommend making a shopping list and, and try to spend the resources um, with a very proper calculation of what you need and what and how you can get uh, those stuff and what you can afford to wait. So in this case I'm not affording to wait um, spheres of power because I actually need um, multiple. And why? Because the next evolution, not sorry, not ev evolution, but the next rank of Orion will also need spheres of power, I believe. Uh, actually might be wrong. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong, uh, but that's also okay because there's another hero. I need I need the spheres of power. It's Astroth. So remember, I have one not really far far away from being built. Fine, I will build that one, <coughs> and I will give it to Astroth. Meanwhile, and then I will also have Celeste on the pipeline <laughs> to build for. So, anyways, and then um, then that's it. I will spend it. Um, I will spend the one being built. And I will spend now the one I need now from this shop. And the other item we needed was La Mort's map. And if it would be the case that items would be duplicated between shops, it would be a, a nice idea to go by in the other shop you have more resources. But it, it's just not the case. So now we have um, 50, 55,000 uh, Satoris coins and 21,000 meters coins so resources are, are starting to run uh, dry but that's okay we can build this our goal is also running dry and we can see the jump of power we will get here 79523 and actually not that much just 1000 just 1000 so uh, you saw that that's uh, one way of doing that. Uh, things that are worth getting for sure, I believe, and here the path will be a bit more easy to go because I can already build this. I just have to farm more ends of glory, then I can build um, multiple of these items. They're not available in the shop anyways, ex um, only the ends of glory. Unless Satori have those, but that's uh, not the preferred way of spending resources. And then I can build the, the key to all doors uh, with relative ease. The Oracle sensor, it's definitely one I could I could try to get now from the shop. And the stuff of neutralization, I'm also quite far away, so that's another one I could get from the shop. Uh, at least the recipe, and I can get the recipe here, you, you see. It's it's not just the item, but also the recipe available in the shop. And again, Lamar's map. So it's feasible to, to upgrade the bit here. And this time spending Satori's coins. So you see here a synergy. I can get stuff from one vendor and from the other. So I get the recipe here. And I think I'm not making mistakes, but maybe I am. <laughs> or maybe I just... Okay, here's another tip. You just navigate from this screen so you don't make mistakes. So I got the right item, the, rice, the recipe. I can build this. 
can build another one and now I need one of these I will, I will need plenty more but I'll need now one of these right so I can build that there he goes a little bit more now he gets magic attack and magic penetration with the previous item it was getting a little bit of health magic attack and intelligence now for the oracle sensor so this one requires more Lamort's map we're running out of Lamort's map on a meter shop remember and we don't have these ones right so why not just take the item from Satori's shop and use his coin you see these are good strategies it's going to cost me a lot I know but I have to spend ultimately the, the resources right so why not just take that and we get that and we got now intelligence and magic attack and I said this one will wait till I get till I get those I don't think I'm gonna spend that those now and I will I will probably build the rest unless unless Satori's Satori no I'm not gonna spend those those are expensive there right no, too expensive, not really going to spend those. The Diviner's Orb, maybe. Okay, that's still expensive, 15,000, but it's a way to accelerate a bit this. And uh, the Book of Fate. This one would be a, a huge... Ah, but it's 20,000, you see? <laughs> Anyways, I, I hope this helped you make decisions on your I'm also wanted to you know keep resources here for astronauts sphere of power I can no longer get this unless I farm a bit more more coins in the last day tomorrow um, but I hope that but it's also not as I said before it's not too far I just need to get these ones the most Lamar's map um, as I said, uh, I was, uh, as I was saying, um, I hope this this helped you, and that you find this content um, some sort of good information to help you make your decisions. And I hope to see you around. If you like the the, the video, just give a like, leave, um, leave a comment if you like to pinpoint flaws or new ideas. And I hope to see you around. Um, I'll also have a great start of a year. <laughs> since I didn't actually made any Happy New Year or uh, Christmas um, video, I'll just wish you now a very Happy New Year. Thank you, and we'll see you in 2022 more, more often, I hope. Bye-bye, <laughs> take care.